cannot believe I'm doing another one of these. Hello, hello everyone and welcome. My name is Laura and this is my channel, Laura's Little Library. So I've decided to make another TBR video. <laughs> I. I don't know why I keep making TBR videos. It's not like I've been very good at sticking with them. I feel like so many people are mood readers and so they can relate. But I love making TBR videos and then I'm such a mood reader that I don't ever stick to them. It's like I choose one book from my TBR and I don't feel like reading it, but I can't read anything unless I read that book. Anyway, I'm going off on a whole other tangent already. but. This video, as you, if you can tell from the title, is a fall TBR, so it's supposed to be for all season long, um, which makes a little bit more sense if you've seen my recent couple of videos and you know that I am currently doing this big, like, spooky season reading extravaganza thing. It's not like I'm going to be reading any of these books right now. The only reason I would be reading them right now is if I finish the three books each week I have planned for this extravaganza and then I still have time, then I would read these books. Otherwise, most of these will probably be more so in November when it's kind of the last month of fall, Halloween is over. I don't wanna say that. And like, I'm kind of gearing down, just looking for a cozy read, but not quite wintry yet. So I guess then I would be making this video kind of early, but because it is like four, all of fall outside of like my spooky season plans i i still think it was merited uh filming and doing now so because hopefully i can get to some of these in some of the weeks because i've got a few weeks where the three books one is like a graphic novel or middle grade and so i think i'll go through them quite quickly but we'll see anyway let's just start talking about the books shall we the first one that i would like to talk about is one that i actually started already and then kind of put on pause as the reading extravaganza started but it's going to be the first thing i pick up once i once i complete the reads and that is curse of the specter queen and this is by jenny elder moak and this is basically uh indiana jones feminist with Irish slash Celtic mythology and legend. Um, and if you've seen Jungle Cruise, I feel like it's gonna be kind of like that. You know, it's your classic, there's this old artifact thing that you need to track down or some ancient secret that you're trying to find. Um, and this one takes place in Ireland. So obviously I'm super excited. I have talked about this before. Like I said, I'm currently reading it. I'm not super far into it. Um, I kind of feel like I'm right where the book is about to start picking up, so I would love to just kind of pick it up. I feel like it'll just be a cozy classic adventure read, like I feel like Indiana Jones is, you know, like it's, it's classic, it's adventure it's fun, so I think this would be a very cozy read. Then the next one I would love to read is The Hawthorne Legacy, and this is by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the second book, the first one is The Inheritance Games, and it's basically, it's a lot like Knives Out where um, you have this billionaire family and the grandfather who owns everything has died, but instead of leaving everything to his family, his children, his four grandsons especially, he leaves it to this mysterious girl who he has no connections to, but who could really use the money. The only catch is that she then has to live in his mansion with his family before she can properly take ownership of everything. Um, so, and there are so many puzzles and mysteries in the first one, and I think those will continue in the second one. So I want to read this because I think it will be a cozy, mysterious read without being like a flat out mystery. Um, so, like the little caption here, a deadly game, a puzzle to solve, a fortune at stake. Like, that, that just screams fall with the coziness and the mysteries, Ugh. So, this will also be high up on my TBR. Then I've got a couple more books. Well, I've got, I've got a quite a few more books. These are, a, there are a lot of books on this TBR so that I have options. So that 
when my moodiness kicks in, I still have an option on my TBR that I actually want to read. Uh, so one is, this next one is one that I recently bought and I've talked about it for the extravaganza. I'm not reading it for the extravaganza, but I still plan on reading it. And that is Pumpkin Heads by Faith Erin Hicks and Rainbow Rowell. It will be my first Rainbow Rowell book, but it's just this short little graphic novel that is, I don't think you can get more fall because I believe these two kids work on our work at a pumpkin patch and it's uh, following their friendship as they work on the pumpkin, pa pumpkin patch. Oh my, you just, you really can't get any more fall than that. It's a literal fall activity. I want to read this on the day that I go to a pumpkin patch. So it is something that will happen and it will be part of the vlogs, even though it's not technically part of my spooky extravaganza, it's just fall. Another one that I would like to read, I've had on my shelf for quite a while, and so I, I'm, it's one of the, the older books that I'm like putting on my TBR so that that motivates me to actually pick it up soon. And that is Deal with the Devil, and this is by Kit Racha. And I think this would be a really good read because I think this reminds me of a show called The Librarians that used to happen. And it's literally about these librarians who go out and protect artifacts, books, literature, things, and this is marketed as Orphan Black meets the post-apocalyptic Avengers, which I love the Avengers, I love post-apocalyptic, but I haven't seen Orphan Black, so I don't really know what that's about, but again, because it is like library focused, but a, another adventure story, I think it'll be just a cozy reading adventure story, and that's another thing I would love to have for fall. I have three more physical books that I own here that I would like to put on this TBR and they're books that could be spooky or they could not be in that I think they're spooky for one reason or another but because I don't know very much about them I don't know if they're actually spooky so I didn't want to risk it and put them in the reading extravaganza but they will definitely be a high priority if I finish my books um, just in case they are spooky. And so the first one is Mercury Boys, and this is by Chandra Prasad. And this is one I've seen on Instagram quite a bit, and the synopsis, like, confuses me. It's, I'm pretty sure it's marketed as a thriller, but I'm not, like, 100% sure. But it's the idea that this group of high school girls figures out that using Mercury, they can visit portraits of boys. And so they make a club, the Mercury Boys Club, and I'm sure there's some sort of threatening or something, and like they're boys from the past, so it's kind of this like magical, like speaking to boys in the past. So yeah, I'm not too sure about this one, but I think it's the most spooky out of the three that I'm about to talk about, so. Because the next one we have is We Are the Ghosts, and this is by Vicki Skinner. And this follows a girl whose brother had just died, and she's kind of upset with him because he left without like telling her about a year ago. So she's trying to figure out what happened to him. She goes and finds his ex-girlfriend, who's also mad at him, and then there's someone trying to get closer to her, and then it's, it's, again, it's a mysterious kind of, I don't think it's thrillery, but it's definitely mystery, so I think it would be a fun, cozy fall read but we'll see. And the last one I think is the least likely, and it's called Verify, and it's by Joelle Charbonneau. And this follows a girl whose mother has just died, and that's when she's kind of asking a bunch of questions that everyone is refusing to answer, and she's like, why is nobody asking these questions? And I believe she starts to question her mother's mental state, uh, leading to her death, and she, I think she unlocks, it says that she unlocks a secret world with a history she didn't know existed. So I don't know if it's literal or theoretical or metaphorical, but I'm I'm very intrigued to see like what this book is trying to say. Um so yeah, this might be one that I try and pick up and kind of figure out pretty soon. And then I do have a few books that I don't own that I would like to read soon. One I'm also currently reading and that is we Free the Stars by Hafsa Faisal, and I'm currently listening to this because I finished listening to We Hunt the Flame, so I'm just trying to finish up, I'm just trying to finish up that duology, oh my goodness, so I'm like a third of the way into it right now, it's kind of the book that I'm listening to when I, I'm not reading, like when I'm doing things, because um, I don't want to 
listen to any of my thriller books because I want to actually like sit down and read them. So We Hunt the Flame is kind of where I'm going with that. Another one I would love to listen to is Incendiary by Zoreta Cordova. Cordova. And um, this is because I loved her Brooklyn Bruja trilogy and it was wonderful. So I would love to read more of her books and I think Incendiary just looks so pretty. I don't remember too much of what it's about, but I just know that like that one's up there. And then also I really want to continue the Wayward Children series. I talk about this every year when it comes fall time because I always recommend the first book and then I haven't read any of the other books and I know another one came out within the past year. I think like the sixth one came out within the past year or something but like I just haven't continued with the series. I really want to so I think I'm finally just gonna get it from the library on my Kindle and read it, which is how I read the first one. And normally when I start a series in a format, that's how I want to finish it. So I don't know why I'm like, oh, I want to buy the books and then finish them. I just, no, we get them from the library. And, and that's by Shauna McGuire. I don't know if I said that. And I would love to read Gods and Monsters by Shelby Mahurin, third and final book in the uh, trilogy that started with Serpent and Dove. I've talked about Serpent and Dove a lot on my channel. Good witchy vibes. Um, I also feel like I need to reread the second book though because I don't remember much of what happens and I don't think I paid attention very well in the second book. So I want to read Gods and Monsters but I might just reread the entire trilogy if I ever get into rereading things. And then there are a few just like little books sprinkled here and there that I would like to listen to or read like My Contrary Mary and those are by the three Lady Janies. Um, I have there my... I have one of their Jane books. I have their My Calamity Jane. Um, yeah, so I would love to read either the other Jane books, but I think the My Contrary Mary has just such a fall looking cover and that's what's drawing me into it this season. Um, I would love to read like City of Brass or Mirage as both of those I think are like very sandy, very warm tone type books. Um, also, I think it could be because I am finishing We Free the Stars, so I'm kind of in that mood a little bit right now, so there's that too, but yeah. And then the only other book that I would consider reading is the one that my husband is currently reading, and it's Dune. If you don't know Dune, then I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's being made into a movie. I would love to see the movie. I feel like I should read the book first, but the book is a chonker, so I'm a little, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little freaked out, but yeah. We'll see. So that is just a quick list of all the books that, not all the books that I want to read this fall. I mean, I want to read them all, but I will not get to them all. I just won't, but I wish I could. So yeah, if you like this video, I know it's kind of short and sweet, but if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, want me to keep making more TBR videos, even if I might not stick to them, I'll try and make each TBR video like unique with different sets of books in them, whether or not I get to them. Um, yeah, let me now know down below. I would also love to know what you guys want to read this fall season. So comment your top reads down below and subscribe. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I post videos every Thursday and I am posting bonus videos on Tuesday like this one um, during spooky season. So why not if I'm going to make double the content? Uh, but yeah, and make sure you hit the bell so that you're notified when I post just in case these video my Tuesday videos are up late. <laughs> the past couple have been, but I'm trying very hard not to have them up late. So yeah, I think that's everything. Like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media. I would love to get to know you guys, make some friends, create a little community. And until I see you all in the next video, I wish you a happy reading.